what I want to establish is, is that obedience without faith or grace or humility or gratitude or thanksgiving connected to it, just blind obedience is a setup for failure. And there's so many people that live their Christian life and they're just obedient to the word of God. That's it. They just want to be obedient. That's all they want to do is let's just be obedient. And you're set up for a failure because you will never meet the requirements that are given in here. You will fail. That's why we are to wake up in the morning. We are to declare God's promises, provisions. We are to see them and in faith get out of bed knowing that God's going to bring about that in his goodness. God's going to bring that. We are going to get out of bed in faith. That's being in the spirit. Get out of bed. Even though I don't see these things, these things aren't happening yet. We get out of bed in faith knowing that God is a good God and he's going to take care of us. He's going to provide for us. So in faith, faith, we get out of bed and do these things and start our day and project what we know God is going to do for our lives. And in that place, in that spiritual place, not fleshly place, but in that spiritual place, it'll take you to a place where you are filled full of gratitude. You will start looking at things with gratitude. You will start looking at issues with gratitude and thanksgiving instead of, man, how do I defeat this? How do I go after this? What do I need to do in here to be more obedient? What do I need to do in here to get this job done? God, give me the strength because my hands are fixing to get dirty. No, no, that's power and being empowered through the flesh and obedience. No, we get up, we project, we declare, we step out in faith, and it takes us to a place of gratitude and thanksgiving. And when you're in that place of true spiritual gratitude in the mornings and thanksgiving, you are in a place that releases humility. And those who are in humility, God will exalt. True gratitude and thanksgiving release humility. Humility, which empowers you because in humility, you're not afraid to come to God and say, I'm weak in this area, God. I'm weak. I'm not over here trying to do's and the don'ts and trying to make it work. I'm weak. And then God will take your weakness and empower you in that moment. And the grace will enter your life and you will go through that moment. You will pierce that problem and it will dissipate in your life. The desire to go back to that problem or serve that issue in your life will dissipate through the power of grace. It will leave you completely. And guess what is the end result of all that I just said spiritually? Obedience comes out of the heart naturally. It just happens. Not that I'm getting rid of it. It's just at the end of result, it just automatically happens. You just automatically keep and do the things. It just flows out of the heart. 